think we found our new favourite cider. Robinson's. Do you reckon so? It's, it's, going, it's going down well. It's not the head of it's a firewall, do I? It's the worst of your firewalls. Uh. It is. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. We are back in Aberedu. It's a bit of a two part series of ball camps. We've just been for a, a drink in the Seven Stars, which you saw. And before we go further on into this trip, we're gonna take a little diversion to Llewellyn Ap Gruffydd Cave and uh, he was the last sovereign prince of Wales so we're going to follow the signs and have a little nose around yeah so we're just following the signpost along this path and uh, it's only about a 10 minute walk so it's well worth a diversion another point of interest on uh, the route and I've also done a, a bit more of an in-depth video on this cave a couple of years back and uh, that video is on our channel uh, if you're interested in this bit of history so here it is the final refuge of Llewellyn Ab Griffith, the last sovereign prince of Wales. And there's his uh, coat of arms, painted on the entrance of this cave. Let's take a look inside. It's a bit dark in there though. I've got my lights on my tour and my phone, but I don't think that's not too much to be honest with you. Fair God in the Atto. We will rise again. It's a amazing place, isn't it? Mm. It's really interesting. Look. And if you're ever in the Aberdeen uh, um, area, come, come check it out. <coughs> There's a lot of um, carvings in the stones. I'm not sure if you can really pick them out, but um, I know there's a lot of old inscriptions on here, but obviously some more recent ones as well oh, that was fascinating there's a bat oh yeah it's a bat that's a bat isn't it? yeah it's a bat yeah. <laughs> it's a bat cave and there's a bat oh that's nuts man right. I was like what the hell is that? Mad, isn't it? I think we better get out of here before. It's tiny, you know. What sort of bat is that? In? I don't know if his, uh, his space like. That's nuts. Amazing. <laughs> There's even like a little window over there as well. Throwing up Griffith. Oh, that's awesome. 
So we're going to head back to the car now and head to a little village called Craigrina. We're going to park there for the night and get our packs on, make our way up to Wilvera. It's only 400 metres up. It's not too far from Aberezu Hill where we went two weeks ago. So yeah, we're going to hike up and aim to have a wild camp. Me and Simon are on the trail now. Park the camper van back down the road. We're going to make our ascent up to Wilvera. Only 410 metres, so not too bad. But we've got to get a move on now. It's uh, nearly half two in the afternoon. Oh. Well, I think it's around 45 minute walk, something like that. So we're going to follow this path up and then just go all the way to the top of the ridge line and back over there. We were only here two weeks ago in this area where we did the snow camp. All the snow's gone now, unfortunately. But we're walking up here and it looks like they've had a lot of um, forestry machinery coming down here. Because they've been cutting a lot, of, a lot of trees down. And this is quite steep. Probably doesn't look it on the camera, but yeah. But once we get to the top, it'll be fine. Yeah, the last video and this video, we're only doing a couple of hills, but we're gonna have to. Um, start attacking some of the bigger mountains in North Wales because we got Switzerland coming up the end of June and although we're only doing a small section of the Via Alpina we got to get our fitness levels up we've got to be a quick point yeah so here yeah, we have haven't we yeah. you can see the van down there yeah. But there again, it's not, not out of spot, is it? Oh. Bright yellow. Yeah, we have to um, get our fitness levels up for the next three months. Because we're going to be covering a fair few miles in the Swiss Alps, so yeah. That's our aim. Oh. That's where we're heading over there, Wilvera. And you won't see the trick point, obviously. But as we get closer, uh, we'll point it out. So we're gonna follow this path down here. And it branches to the right, and then we're gonna make our way over there now. Yeah, on our channel, we try and um, we try to go to new places all the time this one and the other week probably quite obscure and if you um, do a google search or have a look on youtube there's not a lot about these so it's somewhere new for me and simon and um it's somewhere new for, for you guys to maybe check out like
and we have the trig point in sight. Just behind those few gorse bushes. Oh, not too bad a walk there. Not as far as Aberedu Hill, but time's pressing on a bit now, so just as well, really. And there it is. left the trig point behind. It's quite windy up here so what we're we gonna do we're gonna head over that way and then try and find somewhere slightly out of the wind and pitch up for the night. We found our spot. I'm gonna put my tent there and Simon is gonna pitch up by the trig points over there and it's going to be a nice day tomorrow apparently so we might get a decent sun sunrise over that way yeah that's the aim that's Simon's tent up I've changed my mind I'm going to put mine by there I'm going to face the door that way so we can both talk to each other basically <laughs> there's my tent and it's just started raining. So I'm gonna get in there and I'll boil some water, make a coffee, maybe have some biscuits and wait for the rain to stop. I think it stopped raining now. I've opened the, the top zip there, get a bit of ventilation. Just gonna boil some water. I've got my BRS. 3,000 stove, is it 3,000, 2,000? I don't know. Anyway, one of the two and 25 grams. I've got some jet boil gas. So yeah, get a water on the go now and make a coffee. I might even have a pot noodle, dollar kebab. And I've got some if I can get him out of the bag. I got some coconut rings wrapped in foil. I'll have them with my coffee. Favourite biscuits here. A brew with a view. You can beat the coffee. With a coconut ring. Mm. Lovely. Ah, one just broke up and fell in there. Ah, you get. Just having a bit of a chill out, warm up. Cup of coffee. Um, yeah, in this sort of region, uh, the Radnorshire Hills, there's um, there's some bigger peaks than uh, what we're on now. There's only a hill, really. It's not at all, but um, Bilf Wells is that sort of direction. Um, over that direction is New Radnor, and you've got the Radnor Hills over there. Um, you've got a hill, the biggest peak over is um, Great Ross or Ross Vower in Welsh. Um, there's another one called Black Mixon, um, Bark Hill, and another peak called Wimble. So they're on our radar. Um, I've seen videos and pictures of it, it looks really nice over there, so we're definitely going to give that. Um, look so probably the next few months we're going to do some um, hikes over that way and 
and some wild camps and hopefully Danny can come with us and we can um, knock off some more nettles and he can tick them off in his book so so yeah that'll be uh, ones for the future to look out for looking forward to them sat in the tent uh, got another cup of coffee um, the temperature is about six or seven degrees but with this wind it feels a lot colder and uh, stand outside the tent is quite it's a bit of a biting wind so I'm just gonna warm up in here for a while. I'm walking the down booties again, the Nordisk down booties. Yeah they made a difference. Feet are really warm with these on so yeah I recommend, I recommend them. Right, I think it's time to eat. Tonight I got a 12 ounce sirloin steak, mushrooms and some Coleman's English mustard. I'll show you another little accessory I got. This is MSR salt and pepper shaker. Give my steak a bit of seasoning. Mm. The steak is that big. I've got to cook it in two sittings. Tell you what, have a look at that. That looks a main tackle. Tell you what, that steak is to die for. Mmm. Cooked to perfection. Medium to well. Mm. Just finished our steaks, and that was the best camper meal I've ever had. Oh, the steak was spot on. Bit of Coleman's mustard, can't beat it. Anyway, you know what winter camps are like. Oh, it gets dark early. We might be confined to our tent for the rest of the night, I don't know. Might have a wander around, see how it goes. I had the same food as Mark. I didn't film it because uh, you don't want to see the same thing twice, so there's no point. Um, sat in that tent now, still this wind. Um, overnight temperature, I think it might get down to minus three. Hoping for uh, a nice clear day tomorrow with sun, that's, that's on the forecast. So hopefully get a nice um, sunrise, fingers crossed. And I'm basically now going to just lie in the tent, listen to a couple of podcasts, have a couple of salted peanuts as a snack, make a nice cup of coffee now and uh, just chill off the night. So. Yeah, that's the plan. Right, Simon's joined me in my tent. Got a bag of KP nuts. So I'll be having a few of them now. And this noise. And it's winding me up like. It's like the wind's buffeting in the back corner of the tent and it's like it's vibrating on the pole. 
Quite a pain in the ass. Got to side up. You know, we're trying to watch a bit of rush outside wheels, you know, at the same time. I'm talking about rush outside wheels. Give him a like, subscribe, check his firm channel out. Listen to me. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. What are we going to do about this time? <laughs> <laughs> the wind is still doing my head in, but I'm just going to pull up with it. I've tried to pull the, the outer tent, the outer fly out and try and get it away from the pole a bit more, but it's not having it. I think I pitched the tent in, at the wrong angle. But anyway, I'll just have to make do tonight. It's no biggie really. Anyway, if anything happens in the night, then uh, I'll be sure to um, film it and let you know. But if not, I'll see you in the morning. The life for now. Lovely night, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, I think I slept right through as well. Uh, um, I think it's time, isn't it? Yep. I said that ten minutes ago, I still haven't done it. <laughs> yeah. Let's get some water boiled.
I think we've been fairly lucky. Second camp in two weeks. We've been treated to another decent sunrise. It's time to pack up. Simon's nearly done. And as usual, I'm not getting there slowly. But I tell you what, I recommend this place if anyone wants to come here. So peaceful, so quiet, and we haven't seen anyone all day and all night. Nice and flat as well. Yeah, nice level, nice level grass to put a couple of tents on. Yeah, really impressed with Aber, Aberedu area. Yeah, definitely um, going to come back here sometime. Just by looking at the tent, you can see how cold it was last night. Below freezing all night. But we were toasty and warm in our bag, sorry mommy. Yeah, yeah. Toasty and warm. Thanks for joining us on this second wild camp in the Aberazu area. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you on the next one.